All right, let's jump into the look. Y'all know, first and foremost, these under eyes, they gotta go. So I'm gonna use my Fit Glow Beauty Corrector. Almost said correct and conceal because this brush that I'm gonna use is the correct and conceal brush, also from Fit Glow Beauty. I have a lot of correctors I love, but I've just been reaching for this one a lot lately. It does the job, it wells wear throughout the day and night, and that's all I ask for in a corrector. I think we're gonna do face first today. So when I'm thinking like festive, especially when I don't have to worry about it lasting all day long, and honestly, the products that I'm gonna be using do last all day long, but I don't worry as much about longevity if I'm going out at night, if I'm going to an event or a party, because I'm only gonna be having my makeup on for a few hours, right? But when I'm doing a bold lip, I really want my skin to not be overly matte. I just feel like on me personally, it doesn't look as good if I have a really matte face and a bold lip. Don't ask me to explain why. I'm just telling you <laughs> what I have found. So I am actually gonna be using my Kogan Doe Moisture Foundation. I haven't used this on camera in a really long time. This is in the shade 123, but I'm gonna be mixing in some of my Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade four, just to give it a little bit of extra luminosity and ensure that my skin doesn't look super matte. So I'm just gonna mix those two together and stipple it onto the skin. You could definitely do the Flawless Filter like all the way on underneath kind of as a primer. My favorite way to use the Flawless Filter is mixing it in with foundations. I just feel like for me, it works the best that way. Kogan Doe is definitely a moisturizing foundation as the name states, but it's not as glowy to me as the Kogan Doe Aqua. So that's why I chose to add in the Flawless Filter because I like this glow. For concealer, I'm gonna use a little bit of my Kosas Revealer Concealer. This is and has been in my top three concealers ever since I initially reviewed it when they launched it a couple of years ago. It's just one of my favorites. It wears so well. It's really creamy and emollient, but it's not so much so that it's gonna like slip and slide off the face. It's got good coverage, but it's not flat matte. It's not cakey. It's just to me, one of the best concealers. And again, this along with a couple others in my collections are ones that I reach for when I just can't be bothered with whether or not it's gonna look well, whether or not it's gonna work well with other products. I just want something that's gonna work, that I know is gonna work, no questions asked. And this is definitely one of the ones that I pick in those situations. Now, I know that a lot of people notice when I apply foundation and concealer, I always go over my lips. Now, this I do every single day anyways because I have very pigmented lips and I like lighter lips, but I also especially do it when I know I'm gonna be wearing a bolder lip because I wanna make sure that the color I put on is true to color. I don't want it mixing with the darker pigment of my lips and changing. I really want to cancel out any of the color that's on my lips before I go in with a bold shade. So it's just a little trick if you don't do this yourself, maybe start doing that and see if it helps make the lips a little bit truer to color. Now, I also like a really bronzy look every single day of the year. I don't care if it is snowing, and negative 10 degrees outside, I want my skin to look bronzed and I feel like event makeup, bold lips, bronze is just the way to go. So I'm actually gonna be using the Clinique Sunkissed Face Gelée. This has long since been a staple in my kit, especially for male grooming. It used to look different. In fact, it used to be in the Clinique men's line, but I feel like the majority of what men need for film and TV and photos is a bronzing up of the skin, a warming up of the skin, and this is fabulous. But I also like it, obviously, on myself and female clients, and I'm gonna use it today as kind of a cream bronzer. So it comes out super dark, and it is a gel, but you're gonna use it like a cream. So I like to just stipple it in to the areas 
that I would normally bronze up. And it just gives this like sun-kissed, bronzed look instantly. I don't talk about it enough because again, it lives in my kit, but it's one of my favorites. I'm gonna take it kind of up on my cheeks and it's long lasting. I just tried to wipe that off and it does, I mean, that's another reason you kind of wanna work fast with it because it does set down super fast and it will not budge. Now, obviously I love a glowy look, but that doesn't mean I wanna look like I'm sweating, right? So we're gonna set a little bit strategically. I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder and I'm going to use the Wayne Goss number 13 brush and I'm just going to use it a little bit in this, T-zone area. So definitely upper lip and chin, sides of the nose, a little bit on the forehead. So see how that took the shine down a lot where I don't necessarily want the shine, but I've still got that, you know, that pretty cheek. I've got a little bit of that highlight coming out. I mean, I don't even have highlight on and look at what that bronzer does. It's so pretty. Now, this is not saying that this glow is not gonna continue to come through throughout the night. It will, and I appreciate that. But to start out with, I like to set just a little bit. If you want even more glow, just use a powder that's maybe not as mattifying or don't use as much. I don't need to add more bronzer, but y'all I'm going to because I just got this one and I wanna play with it. This is from Era Perez. And this is a brand that I have wanted to try out for a while now. And it just became, the whole line didn't become available, but this particular product and a couple of other things from the line became available on Ulta and I had points to spend. So I got the Rice Powder Bronzer. It's like a duotone bronzer. And I'm just gonna take, mix those two colors and just take a little bit and kind of set that Clinique. Because again, I don't feel like you could ever be too bronzed. This is the Osmosis Large Accent Brush. For blush, I don't want anything that is too pink or too peach or really too anything that's not neutral because I'm gonna be showing you three different lip options today and I want something that's gonna go with all of it. So my favorite neutral, like true neutral blush, and I tell this to anybody who asks, is the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur in Blurred Buff. It almost looks like a bronzer and it really helps accentuate the bronzer on your skin, but it's truly neutral. It's gonna go with any eye look, it's gonna go with any lip color. And I'm not saying it's a rule, a hard and fast rule that you can't wear pink cheeks with an orange lip. I'm not saying that, you do what you wanna do. I'm just saying for me, when I want that option, I'm gonna always choose something very neutral and that is by far my favorite. Put a little filter on the face using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, and this is in the shade Radiant Light. And I'm doing this now because I'm using a cream highlight. I'm gonna be using the Merit Highlight in Kava, one of my favorites. It's almost like a highlighting balm. It is really emollient. It's kind of see-through. I love it and it really gives that intense glow. So I like to just take my finger and, I mean, look at that. Hello, highlight. Just pop that on the top of the cheekbones. It goes over powder well, like it doesn't disturb anything. The powder doesn't mess with it working. It's just so pretty. Oh, I could just put that on and on and on, but I need to stop. So that is in Kava. All right, let's go to the eyes. I'm feeling super bare on my eyes right now. Again, when I'm working with bolder lip colors, different lip colors, if I know I wanna change them throughout the day, say I wanna start out with something more neutral and then I wanna go to something bold at night, but I don't wanna have to change my makeup, I really wanna keep my eyes neutral. So I'm gonna take my Too Faced Just Peachy palette, one of my favorites, haven't pulled this out in a while, and I'm gonna take Peach Tea, which is this shade right here. Honestly, it doesn't have to come from this palette. You probably have this shade 10 times over in your collection. Just, I like to just work with browns and put that in the crease, but then again, I can put it all over the eye. Kind of like what I did in my playing with new makeup video last week. This is gonna be similar to that. In fact, I'm even using 
a little bit of a glitter product. And I know I mentioned in that video that I'm not big on those. I'm not big on the particular formula that was in the Patrick Ta palette because it was very chunky and I experienced fallout. The product that I'm gonna be using today um, is not because it is in a kind of liquid eyeshadow form. So it it's like a glitter glue and glitter in one. And I'll show you a couple options if you're not really into glitter, but still want a little bit of that sparkle. The first option is the Bobbi Brown Sparkle Eyeshadow. So this is gonna be that option that's a little less intense than an actual glitter that you would put on your face. It still has that sparkle. It's kind of like a topper that you would find in the Charlotte Tilbury palettes. Um, I'm not gonna compare it to the toppers in the Patrick Tall because this, to me, is not a chunky glitter. It is a nice sheen. Now this is a shadow. It's not encased in a liquid like I'm gonna show you next, but I'm just gonna put this on first so that you can see how pretty but also understated that sheen is. It's not gonna precede you into a room. It's not gonna say hello before you do, but it's there, it's festive, it's a little bit of a sparkle that catches the light. It's really pretty. I love, this baby peach shade is probably my favorite, but there are different shades within the sparkle eyeshadow line. And it's just, it's pretty. So I wanted to give that as an option. Now I'm gonna top it off with something a little bit more sparkly for those who are wanting even more shimmer and shine on their lids. And this is a new product to me, but I did wear it yesterday. So it's not the first time I'm wearing it. This is actually from e.l.f. And this is their liquid glitter eyeshadow and it's in the shade Flirty Birdie. This is so pretty. I think it's kind of like the drugstore version of the Stila glitters but I feel like these are even shinier. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand so you can see it, because I know somebody's gonna be like, well, you put that Bobbi Brown underneath, so we don't know what it really looks like. It's right next to that lovely Clinique bronzer, but that's it right there. Super shiny, very reflective, right? But those glitter pieces aren't going anywhere because they are encased in the liquid formula within. So, and I love how it's in this like doe foot. So it's really easy. And all I'm gonna do is just basically swipe that on. Now here's the thing. I know there are a lot of you out there who are gonna be like, I can't wear glitter. I'm, I've been told I can't wear shimmer after a certain age. I don't feel comfortable wearing, you know, glitter on my eyelids. I get it. This look, is perfect without the glitter. Use a, a like a shimmer shadow on top or just go for the plain matte brown on the lids. The lips are really gonna be the star of the show. So my, the main takeaway is just to keep the eyes neutral and not overly done. I wanted to do something a little bit festive and sparkly because of the season, go into parties and that kind of thing. But really the main takeaway is just don't overdo it as I swipe on glitter on my eyelids. But I think y'all know what I mean. <laughs> I do want a little bit of definition, so I'm gonna go in with my Chantecaille liner in Jasper and do a non-perfect line and go in and smudge it out. I'm gonna be using my Jenny Patinkin line smudge brush. I think a festive look calls for like not perfect, a little bit smudgy. But if you wanted to add a liquid liner and do that cat eye and make it perfect, by all means. Oh, rest in peace, eyelash. I hate when that happens. That was a good one too. By all means, do that. Now I'm gonna take that same line and smudge brush, take a little bit of the product off the pencil and smudge that underneath the eye. Oh my goodness, y'all, that's another one. What is happening? And then I'm gonna take that brown shade from the Just Peachy palette and further smoke out my lower lash line because this is just something I love to do. It's not something you have to do. 
Y'all, I am going to wear false lashes. Who am I? This is part of a festive look to me, is really amping up your favorite features. And one of my favorite features is my lashes. And I got sent these amazing lashes from this new brand called Love Scene. Really nice, like 98% free, plastic free packaging, which I can appreciate. They're cruelty free. They are really, really pretty. These are the ones that I'm gonna use today and they are the Axel. So they are black and they are full and bold. I laid one on my eye yesterday to kind of see if I needed to trim any off and I don't think I do. Look at how pretty that is. So I'm going to put some glue on that and let it get tacky. These are definitely reusable. They are very high quality. I can tell just by feeling them and trust me when I say I might not wear false lashes very much, but you better believe 99% of my clients do. So I put on false lashes all the time while I'm working and I can tell a good lash when I feel it. And these are definitely good quality. I did put a very light coat of mascara and tight lined with my Pixi pencil in preparation for the lashes, but I did not go in with a mascara primer. I'm not trying to load that up. I really want the star of the show to be the false lashes themselves. They also have a lash applicator tool that they sell on their site as well. So you can see it holds onto that lash really well, and then you can just stick it on your eye. I am not, I'm very good at putting these on other people. I'm not that good at putting them on myself. I cannot talk while doing this, so I'll be right back. Y'all, those lashes are so pretty, and they were actually really easy to put on compared to other lashes that I have tried in the past. Let's get on to the star of the show, which is going to be our lips. So I have three different lip colors that I wanna show you, all of which would be considered bold. Okay, they're all gonna look good with this neutral look we've got going. They're all festive, they are all very pretty, but depending on your taste, you might like one or two over the others. I'm gonna make sure that my lips are very primed and ready and muted out. And then I'm gonna take my first option, and this is from Fit Glow Beauty. This is the Lip Color Serum in Jam. When I first saw this, I said, there's no way that's going on my lips, but then I tried it and I actually loved it. So per the Lip Color Serum formula, it's very moisturizing, but it's also pretty opaque. You can keep layering it on if you want more. This is a beautiful purple jammy color. It is definitely not your typical festive holiday red, which to me, I like. You can kind of make a statement by going in wearing things that other people aren't going to have on. This is also the bold lip choice that I feel like you don't need a mirror for because it is in that like glossy type of formula. And it's really, really, really hard to mess up. So this is Fit Glow Beauty Lip Serum in Jam. Now, if you're like, hold up, I don't think I'm gonna be wearing some purple lip gloss into any kind of party this year, and you want something, maybe not the typical red, but still something bright and festive, I really like the Kevin Aquan Unforgettable Lipstick in Enigma. This is a really bright, festive pink shade. It again, is still gonna go with this look in general because it's so neutral, but it's still that pop of bright color. Your lips are going to shine. These are very, very comfortable lipsticks. They are moisturizing, definitely not matte. I don't feel like I need any kind of gloss on top of this. Very easy to reapply. So if you like a bright pink, then check out the Kevin Aquan Unforgettable Lipstick in Enigma. And finally, if you are just that classic beauty that wants a festive holiday red, my favorite is the Persona Cosmetics Holy Grail. This is a true red. It's like a holly red, it's a Christmas red, it's a beautiful red. This is a matte lipstick. I don't like typically like to wear those and I will put a clear gloss on top, but as far as matte lipsticks go, these wear really, really well. They do not crinkle and crack on your lips. They don't dry them out. They're very nourishing 
for what they are. So that is the red all by itself. You can tell it is not super drying. It's a beautiful red festive color, but because I am a gloss girl, I am gonna put a little bit of shine on top. And to me, that just adds a little bit more festivity to the look. I love a glossy lip. So there you have it. That is my festive party holiday look with three bold lip options. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions. As always, everything will be listed and linked down in the description box. I love dialogue in the comments, so let us know what your favorite bold lip color is this season. Be sure and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. I hope you're all staying happy, healthy, safe, and sane, and that most of all, you go out and have a very blessed day.